Hello, my name is Jacob Monk, and uh, welcome to this short video lecture about five points I'm quite sure you didn't know about the Danish religion. Well, the Danish religion, it's called Lutheranism in our constitution, and I suppose I do not have to mention I'm living in Copenhagen. Denmark. I've been living here for 67 years, so I know quite a lot about our laws and our religion here in this country. I'm a Catholic myself, so I'm not a member of the Lutheran religion. I'm not a follower of the Lutheran religion. As a matter of fact, I would like my country, Denmark, to change their laws so we could have equal rights for Lutherans, Catholics, Muslims, atheists, and everyone, no matter what religion we have. But that's not the situation now. At the moment, we have in our constitution that we all have to pay tax to the Lutheran Church. I can leave the Lutheran Church by going to the local Lutheran priest and say, okay, I want to leave the state church. But even when I left the church, I still have to pay tax to the priest 40% of the money that the Lutheran priest gets in salary. They get from common taxpayers. That means everyone, including Catholic, Muslims, atheists, Jews, and so on. So we don't have equality when it comes to religion here in Denmark. I don't like that. Denmark is a Lutheran country. I've told you that the religion is in our constitution. It's written very clear that the state has to support the evangelical Lutheran religion. That means the religion that Martin Luther, he invented in the 16th century. I also have to mention that our Queen is member of the Lutheran Church. Actually, she has to be member of the Lutheran Church, and she's the leader of the Lutheran Church, because every law in Lutheran Denmark has to be signed by the Lutheran Queen. So Denmark is for sure a very religious society. And around 84% of all people in Denmark, 84% of the population, they are members of the Lutheran Church. They pay around 2,000 kroner or even more. That is uh, maybe... Uh, $500 every year to the Lutheran Church. No matter if they go to the Lutheran Church to the services on Sundays or not, they just pay to the church. And most of them say, I like to pay to the church. So the religion, the Lutheran religion is very founded in Denmark. Because of the Lutheran religion, we have a very big state. We pay around 60% of everything we earned to the state. And uh, the state is so big compared to our national income because of the Lutheran religion. Because the Lutheran religion tells that the state has to run everything. According to the Lutheran religion, People are like demons. We are all evil beings. That's what Martin Luther wrote in his books. And because we are all seen as evil beings, the state has to control everything because it is some kind of a fundamental idea that the state is run by the queen and she alone and the politicians in the parliament they are all employed by the queen. They are not evil beings. But me, I'm an evil being. And 
all other Danes, they are evil beings. That's why we are not allowed to have the freedom to form our life ourselves. And that is why we have to pay 60% of our income to the state. And the state is, as a matter of fact, controlling nearly everything in Denmark. They are controlling the television channels. They are controlling the schools. They are controlling all kind of education. They are controlling internet. They are controlling the streets. Well, the state is controlling everything. Of course, it's controlling the policy and um, the politicians in the parliament. They uh, develop some kind of foreign policy. But this foreign policy has to be accepted by our queen because nothing can happen in Denmark if it's not accepted by the queen. No public servants at all can be serving without the signature of the queen. So the queen is the most powerful person in Denmark. And it's not a coincidence that the word democracy is not mentioned one single time in our constitution. We are not a democracy. We are a monarchy. The basic idea of Martin Luther was that normal people, they have no free will, no free will. And because we have no free will, there is nothing like good and bad. Of course, you can't talk about good or bad when people have no free will to choose how they will act themselves. And that means that morality has not a real meaning in Denmark because morality is based on the fact that human beings have a free will to choose between good and bad. But in Denmark, according to the religion that we all have to support, according to our constitution, according to this religion, there is nothing like good or bad. There is no difference because we are like machines. We have a slave-bound will. That's why a lot of what the rest of the world sees as immoral laws have been introduced in Denmark years before they were introduced in other countries. For example, free abortion, free pornography, free sex, and also the dissolution of the Christian marriage. In Denmark, you can uh, go and be married and you can uh, divorce the next week. No problem at all. It is totally accepted that you don't keep the bonds you say when you're getting married. Because when you're getting married, you say, I want to live with you, I want to love you, until we are separated by death. But this has no meaning, because there is no difference between good and bad in Denmark. So you can just forget your promise. You don't have to stay to it at all. You can have as many wives as you want. It's not only the Muslims that can have your as many wives as they want. Normal people can have as many wives as we want. Of course, we can't be married to more than once at a time, but we do not have to be married. We can live with um, many women or many men and have sexual relationship to all of them. It's no problem. It's totally accepted in Denmark. And also, it's therefore that because we have no morals in Denmark, in the Lutheran religion, therefore, we do not have a moral view on foreign policy. We don't care about bombing poor countries, about bombing Muslim countries, about invading. Well, we do not want to do it ourselves because we are small and weak. But when we do it together with our big brother, USA, it's absolutely no problem because we want to be political supporters 
of every kind of imperialism coming from USA because the basic need in our foreign policy is to be accepted by the Jews and the Jewish politicians and the Jewish president, of course. You know, when people have no free will, when they are seen as being robots, machines with no free will, that means, as I've told already, that there is no good and bad, there is no ethics. You don't have to use your conscience a lot because your conscience is, according to Martin Luther, rotten. It gives you wrong answers, so you're only an egoist. And that is why ethics has no meaning. But, on the contrary, psychology, the so-called robot psychology, has a big influence in Denmark. Well, most Danes, they are not interested in Christianity, not at all. They are not interested in any religion at all. But they are interested in psychology. They believe in psychology. Because in psychology, you're just a biological machine acting the way that your parents taught you to act and the way that the society uh, impacts on you. There are two reasons why you are living the way you are according to psychology, and one is your biological genes, and the second is your social milieu. That means you do not have a free will, nothing is good and bad, and that's why psychologists, they never talk about good and bad, good and bad, and that's why psychology is a central part of the Danish Lutheran religion. And I also have to uh, mention that Luther was very interested in sat Satanism. He said actually that it was Satan who ruled in this world. And maybe this is the reason that Satanism is very popular in Denmark among young people. Actually, we have a music, very big music festival every year called Copenhagen Hill and it is very, very popular among the young people because they are followers of Satanism. They do not like Jesus Christ, they do not like Virgin Mary, but they really like Satan. And now let's finish with the consequences of the Danish Lutheran religion. This religion is uh, turning the people who believe in it into robots. It takes away the morals. It turns people into followers of their own senses. Immoral human beings. I would compare the human beings following Lutheranism with some kind of animals. And this is why we do not have any responsible responsibility for what we are doing in politics. That's why the Danish politicians, they are opportunists. They are followers of Americanism. And actually, they have some inferiority complexes. One reason is that Denmark is a small country. The second reason is that most Danes really don't know anything about the Danish religion. So they don't have an identity themselves, else that they are followers of USA. That's why they move around with USA hats, USA trousers, USA t-shirts, and USA everything. Because they are just followers of the American empire, and they don't have a personal identity. And that is why Denmark is such a small country, not only in a physical sense, but also in a mental sense. But although we are a small country, some Danes have some kind of megalomania. Megalomania, you can read in the papers. 
that Danes are the best in the world to this and that, the best in the world to politics, to social welfare, to uh, handball, to football, to everything. Well, actually, it's part of the Danish Lutheran culture to believe that Danes and Danish culture is the best in the world. And therefore, we really like to go with our American friends out in the world and throw bombs against the countries who are not being Danish yet. Well, this was very short about the Danish religion. Remember, if you come to Denmark, most Danes will tell you that they are not interested in religion at all. But nevertheless, they are members, they are paying members of the Danish Lutheran Church. And because of this church, Denmark is a very small country, not only when it comes to size, but also when it comes to intellectual capacity. Thank you for listening.